I hit my head. Ha, ha, ha. That was your idea. That was actually your How idea. How long did we I, plan that? That's the whole movie right two, there. Two years. That's it. That's what we were trying to do. Hi, I'm Bob Odenkirk. Hi, I'm Daniel Bernhardt. We're going to break down a scene from our new movie, Nobody. What are you still doing here, old man? My character has been on a quest on this night where he's trying to get revenge for a home break-in. And he does actually track down the people who broke into his house, but he sort of immediately feels bad for them. So he is frustrated and angry, and he gets on this bus to go home thinking that he's just gonna have to live with this, with this failure and loss and, and anger. And then these jerks get on the bus, they're kind of intimidating everybody, and then my character realizes, oh, God sent these guys for me to beat the out of. That ignites the whole rest of the movie, what he does here. Um, oh, yeah. So he acts out on his violence. He finds reward in that. But in the end, it um, actually causes him more trouble than uh, it's not just a satisfying uh, residue. He, he's left with a bad situation because of what he does here, my character. I'm gonna f you up. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Boom, I get hit first. Right? I get hit first. Then I come back. I get hit in the gut. I get hit again. I get hit again. I hit my head. Ha, ha, ha. That was your idea. That was actually your How idea. How long did we I... plan that? That's the whole f***ing movie right two, there. Two years. That's it. That's what we were trying to do. We <laughs> talked about that for years. Two years. And that Is was that one of your I points. You wanted to get that. punched and conk, hit my head on like a bar yeah. or something. And I'm really glad because that you kept it's this so in. pathetic. Yeah. Right? It's like you never see Jason Statham do that. You never see Jason Bourne hit his f***ing head. You never see uh, Liam Neeson do that. But that's your comedy, and that was so fun. And that was one, I swear to God, that was one of the first things he said. Dan, it'll be so much fun. When I get hit, I whack my head. And So it's like, to me, this thing starts with this bravado swagger line. I'm going to f*** you up. And then right away... He gets hit, he barely gets a punch in, he gets hit, he gets hit, he hits his head. <laughs> Kirk and I were fight coordinators, so we put the fight together, we choreographed the fights, of course, with our stunt coordinator, Greg, Greg Ramento, who is also the second unit director, who actually shot the fight. But we all worked very, very tightly together, with Bob, because it was very important to us that Bob approved everything, that he was comfortable with what he was doing, also that we had a story, yeah. which was actually very, very important to Bob. You want to tell a story. You don't want to just hit, smack. There has to be a story in it. That's the most important thing. So I'm going from out of practice, getting hit, getting hurt, sloppy, to barely putting it together, uh, and some real good clumsy moves, just throwing Kirk into the wall here. And what was funny is, you know, after I did this like three times, you might remember Kirk said to me, throw me harder. <laughs> and I was like, harder, right? You sure? He goes, yeah, yeah throw me as hard yeah. as you can throw me. When I started to train Bob, we realized right away that he was very, very talented with choreography, that he actually picked up things very fast. We break down fight in sections. So we have section one, two, up to 10, whatever. And I would tell Bob, Bob, I need the beginning of section three, he would know it. The beginning of section five, he would know it. So because Bob was so prepared, when we actually shot the fight, David Leach and Greg Rementer decided 
to do as little cuts as possible. So the first shot, when you watch it, it's actually all on Bob. We're pulling back, and I think you did probably like something like 10 moves without a cut. And that is very, very, very rare. Because usually you cut, you have to cut because you gotta hide something. But Bob did all of his own fights, and we stayed on him as long as we could till we actually had to cut because of an impact. And that's yeah. a huge compliment to him. You just don't see that so much anymore. Part of it is that relatively new style of very cutty. Fast cuts. Yeah, like uh, Paul Greengrass style, which uh, started with the Bourne films and certainly the Taken films do, do it for other reasons. You know, we wanted to go back to an older style in every way, in every way, in the kind of character it was, the kind of darkness of the script and the story and the character and the film style. So Ilya Neischiller directed, Greg Romenter directed the action sequences and everybody worked together to, to choose the, the style and the tone. And this was just a great joy to shoot. It's actually hard to shoot in a confined space. Daniel, do you want to talk about you know, that? Um, yeah, it, it was a little bit of a challenge, but um, you know, we, we rehearsed this fight for months. So we were really, really prepared. So when we rehearsed it, we, we actually set ourselves a little stage that looked like the bus. And um, to be honest to me, it wasn't such a big challenge because we knew exactly what we were doing. And we knew that we had an incredible talent and Bob was prepared. The, the biggest thing for us was really having Bob ready. That was the most important thing because one of the, the decisions we made, we didn't want to double. We don't want to do the typical thing where you go behind the actor and you show a stunt double doing it, and we didn't want to do that. So like I said earlier, we really wanted to stay. This whole fight is on Bob. There's barely reactions on us, just when you really, really needed it, but it's all favoring Bob. You know, a lot of movies uh, and TV shows, when you shoot in a confined space, you rebuild it, but you kind of build it about a two feet wider and two feet longer. So you give yourself that room for the camera, but this is a real bus. So we were not able to do any alterations outside of taking seats out. Seats out, right, right. Um, so it was really a uh, tribute to Daniel and the crew of stunt actors and the camera people who were able to work within this confined area and create this uh, intense moment. I also think the con confines yes. makes it more intense and scary. Intimate, scary, dangerous. And what we did, we did a lot of pulling, just like this and like that, because of the space. Yeah. It was so all designed for that. <laughs> The bus fight scene in Nobody is kind of a huge deal to us. A core aspect of this whole effort was that I wanted to make a not ironic action movie and I wanted to do my own fighting and I wanted you to see that I was doing it and I wanted it to be good and I wanted the character to get hurt and I wanted him to struggle in the course of fighting because those are things we haven't really seen a lot of from action stars of the last few years. You could almost feel like they're a robot that fights and doesn't feel anything. So I wanted my character to be more, far more human right from the get-go. And in fact, when I say the line, I'm gonna fuck you up to these guys, I sort of hope that you can see in the character's face that he's not sure if he's gonna actually do that or if it's just a uh, goal. <laughs> it's, it's just his uh, intention he's putting out into the universe. So we wanted to show this slightly different spin on an on a action hero, somebody who's more human Wonderful. and somebody who screws up. And I think hopefully somebody who doubts himself and who you doubt, who you, the audience, go, I don't think he's gonna win this fight. That, that's not something you feel in most action films. And if we could get you to even subconsciously think, yeah. this guy, he's not really up to it, then that would be a great, great achievement. When you left, you abandoned a certain debt that needs repayment. And your creditor is aware of your resurrection. <laughs>
Thanks for watching us break down that cool scene from our super cool, amazing, awesome, kick-ass movie, Nobody.